Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos. Our HTML5 project is coming along really well. We've been able to change the colors of our of our uh, design and such using the element inspector. So go back to our previous video and make sure you understand how to use that because it's very useful. What I want to do next is I want to add a little bit of the supporting images or the branding images to our project. We usually want people to come to this site on a mobile device and sometimes they want to save the uh, the the page to their own device. So if we provide a few icons, uh, we'll have a little bit of branding that gets added to their phone instead of just a simple screenshot. So you will need to download from Blackboard the uh, SDCE icon. Uh, you should be able to save the image from. Uh, from uh, Blackboard, I saved it to my desktop and then I need to move it into my mobile project folder. So now I've got that picture. It's called apple-touch-icon.png for a very specific reason. We can create icons that will show up on iOS devices, Android devices or any other device uh, and so this is our starting point for that we want to target uh, first I'll target uh, Apple devices and then I'll target um, and then I'll tar then we'll target uh, Android devices and then the rest so make sure the picture is in your in your folder there and we'll go back to notepad at the very top of the document we'll need to find a line where we can add this these um, these icons and they're also you might have heard them as fave icons or favicons so this is a fave icon that is targeting Apple devices so I'll on line 21 I'll give myself some space and I'll begin writing my code to first target Apple devices. So this is going to be the link tag. And this is one of those unique ones that does not have a pair, but it has a bunch of properties inside of the tag. We'll say link, R-E-L equals quote, end quote. The relationship, What what is this link? It's apple-touch-icon. We're saying that there's going to be a link href there's going to be a link to a to a picture and the relationship is it's an apple touch icon so if someone visits your project on an iphone ipad ipod touch etc and save the the site to their home screen they will get this icon the icon that we downloaded from um, blackboard apple dash touch dash icon so now all of the all of the um, Apple people will get a nice icon when they save the, the site. Next for Android people, we will do another link. REL. This one is the more generic icon. We need to say what type of icon it is, so we'll say type equals quote unquote, we'll say image slash PNG. If you're using a different type of file format, then you'll say image slash the format, and here we're doing PNG. Next we say href equals, and here technically we could have the same name, apple-touch-icon, but actually I want to use the more standard fave, fave icon dot PNG fave icon. Now obviously though we do not have a fave icon.png file in our folder. We've only got Apple Touch icon. So no problem. We'll just we'll just um, copy, right click copy, right click paste. This makes a copy of the image which then we will rename as fave icon.png. Notice the spelling F A V I C O N dot P N G. So we have the Apple Touch icon which we downloaded from uh, Blackboard, and we have the Fave icon which is just a copy of the Apple Touch icon but with that specific name. 
because now the code is referencing the icon for other other um, devices, fav icon, now it exists. And then the last the last um, link. This one is actually for usually for desktop browsers and it's an older format. This was the classic fav icon. So it's Ariel is shortcut icon. It's a fav icon but the the specification calls it a shortcut icon. And then we'll say uh, href equals fav icon dot ico. Now this is the classic fav icon that shows up on web browsers, especially desktop web browsers. But we cannot simply rename or make a copy of favicon png and rename it favicon.ico. That will not work. An ICO file is a special kind of graphic. So for this, we will use a converter. We're going to use a website that is going to convert our favicon png into an actual fave icon. So I'm going to go back to the web browser and we're going to go to this website, dynamic drive.com d-y-n-a-m-i-c-d-r-i-v-e dynamicdrive.com they've got a lot of great uh, free tools the one that we want is on the left nav bar under web tools fav icon generator this will take just about any kind of graphic and convert it into a fav icon file favicon.ico and it shows up in the example under the address bar. So I'm going to choose that particular icon, favicon.png, open, create icon. It'll process it, gives us a preview, and then we can download. Depending on your web browser, it may download right away or it, it may ask you to save. Mine saved to the desktop. So I can actually close my browser, go to my desktop, and actually, I guess mine saved to my downloads folder. There we go. Favicon.ico in my downloads folder, so I need to move it from the downloads folder into the mobile website folder. So I've got the Apple Touch icon for Apple devices, the favicon PNG file for Android devices, and the favicon.ico file for desktop devices. I've written my code to target all three of those types of icons lines 22 to 24. They're all links. They have different relationships, RELs, um, just specific code to each save. And now when I refresh my screen, I see the, the icon up on my tab. It used to be just a generic empty icon. And to get the full effect, you can see your project in an Android device or a, an iPhone, uh, an Apple device, and uh, save, the, save this page to your home screen, for example, and then you will see the other icons. Can't quite test that for you at the moment, but when you, when you have this project uploaded, you can test it and you'll see it works pretty well. So here we've added these supporting icons to give that little bit of polish to your project. In the next video, we talk about uh, how do we deal with people coming to your site on the desktop as opposed to the mobile device. So come back for that.